It's Sunday. You're not doing anything. I'm not doing anything. Let's play Morrowind. That's just how this energy goes. Five minutes left. I'm not even going to start. I'm ready. I'm sat here. I'm good to go. I could start right now. Not going to. Look. Look. Right now. It's just me. Just hanging out. Just sat. This, by the way, what you can see right now, this is a secret that I've got planned for later. This is how I intend to woo the company. Got a table going on. It's a PNG, don't tell them. Got a candle going on. I even bought a rose. I say I bought a rose. I found a PNG of a rose that I cut out. Josh, the void is behind you. Oh, the void? That's just the rest of the room. It's not, actually. That is just, that's what my room's like. It was when we moved into this house uh, and they, they showed me around, they showed me this room, I did say, what's going to be done about the big black void of nothingness? And they went, oh, no, that's actually a structurally integral. That's a load-bearing void right there. So you can't get rid of it. And I said, well, you know what? That's really convenient, actually, because I do streaming. So having uh, a void of infinite abyss behind me would work. Uh, yes, there's a blahage up there. Obviously, you've got to have the blahage symbol. Anyway, you don't get to see this. This is, you shouldn't be allowed to see this. This is, this is behind the veil. You want to see the actual behind the veil? It's just, uh, it's mostly, it's just this. There you go. I could even get rid of these things for you. There you go, look at that, see? This is the actual room. This is the actual streaming room. You're welcome. The stream doesn't start for the next five minutes, but you get to ask me questions about the streaming room that's behind me now. That's the Adventure Quest poster that uh, Artix Entertainment made me for, as a thank you. They didn't ask me to make the Was It Good Adventure Quest video, but as a thank you, they made uh, that for me and sent it to me, which was lovely. That was really cool. Are those dreadnoughts? Yeah, they are. So we've got the Redemptor Ultramarine Dreadnought, which is the slightly newer one, and we've got the old-style Venerable Dreadnought, which is the Joy Toy. And next to that, we've got Rebuto Gilliman. And then over in the glass display cabinet that you can't see, I've also got Marnius Kalgar and a Heavy Intercessor. So I've nearly got enough Joy Toy Warhammer to run a kill squad of Joy Toy, which I think is really cool. And one day I want to do that. Uh, is that a skull bat in a mug? Well, down there, the one that says, trust me, I'm a teacher. Yes, yes it is. Um, what's, uh, what else have we got going on? Do you still play Adventure Quest Worlds? As and when I can. As and when I can. It's been a long time since I've had time to sit down and play it. Um, but yeah, do I have the RuneScape manual? I don't have the RuneScape manual, but what I do have is just there. That is a mouse mat that I got from the original RuneFest that is signed by all of the original Jagex staff, which is super cool. And above them, they are the RuneScape plushies that they brought out. Uh, the old wise old man, gnome child, Bob the cat, and Neve. I was super happy to get all those. Uh, what Magic the Gathering decks are those? They are the Warhammer 40k Universes Beyond decks. And I'm hoping to be able to get the uh, Warhammer, the, the Magic the Gathering Fallout decks when they come out as well. Because I do think the Magic the Gathering are massively overcomplicating and flooding the market with the amount of product they are making. There is simply too much. But um, I do still like the game. Like, I straight up do like the game. What is my favorite tabletop game I own? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I... I'm, I'm quite a basic bitch when it comes to board games, so I quite like Ticket to Ride. That's quite fun. Uh, I love the uh, Betrayal at Baldur's Gate. I've got Betrayal at House on the Hill and Betrayal at Baldur's Gate, two of my favourite versions of playing that. But one of my favourite board games is a slightly lesser known one. You need five players. It's called The Resistance. And there's um, a fantasy version called Avalon. They're basically exactly the same game. But I love the resistance it is super fun to play with the right people and then uh, yeah over there we've got some more mugs going on we've got some more board games uh general D, &D stuff i was lucky enough to get one of the Baldur's gate 3 collector's editions so i'm super happy with that yeah ticket to ride is a great game to be uh, to teach people to play without a doubt other than D, &D what tabletop rpgs do you play i haven't played too many but i do like the old warhammer inquisitor game i thought that was really good fun i haven't played gloomhaven yet simply because you need so many i've got gloomhaven Gloomhaven and Hero Quest are over in the corner, but you need so many people to be able to play them. Like it's absolutely ridiculous the amount of people you need to be able to play that game. Anyway, you shouldn't be seeing this. This this isn't allowed. This is illegal. You've seen illegal information behind the void now. You don't get this anymore. I Sundays at four. You have two minutes to sit and wait for the stream to start. <laughs> 